coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Bagels and Locks. I'm your host, Max the Animal. This is Nikki Snacks. Yeah, so... As always, we're going to be giving you our best locks every week. This guy's real cocky right now. He's super cocky. Why wouldn't one be cocky when you go 3-0 and in the easiest possible fashion? Yeah, Explain. Listen, no, I get it. I get it. I'm as, as cocky as you are is as distraught and, and down. I, I know. You guys, well, you, guys don't reali- you guys don't realize how much Max begs me for picks this week. <laughs> I, was, I was getting a little desperate. Listen, I went 0-3. It won't happen again. I will not go 0-3 again. I promise. Just a bunch of one and twos. My my biggest fear is is that you know the show's called Bagels and Locks and that I'm gonna be providing all the bagels and he's just gonna be giving you all the locks. And I don't want that to happen. That's not what's gonna happen. I'm gonna I'm gonna step it up. I'm gonna step it up. You know what, Animal? For as long as I've known you, about 20 years now, I'm confident you will. I believe in you. I, you have the heart of a champion. I do. I do. I know. I know what to do. I know how to make corrections. And speaking of corrections, speaking of picks, I'm gonna get it started with my first pick. And I'm confident, guys. I'm. I'm so confident. It's a lock. It's a lock. It's the Bears at the Broncos plus two and a half. We're going with Denver. Here's why. Because They're you're home. A fan? No, this is not a homer pick. They're at home. We're playing at Mile High. It's, it's early in the season. It's week two. The teams, they're not in football shape yet. They think they are because they had training camp, but they're not. Going into mile high at the high altitude, Bears are going to, they're going to, you think Mitch Trubisky was sailing balls last week? Wait till you see him soaring in the, in the high altitude. In the mile high. Woo! Yeah. Listen, here's another stat that I'm not exactly sure on the numbers, but I heard it one time. I'm, I'm pretty close on these. So the Broncos are 33 and 3. At home in the first two weeks of the NFL season. That goes back like 14 years. Wow. Something like that. So, yeah, that's the pick. Bears at Broncos. We're going with the Broncos plus two and a half. You know what, Animal? I like that pick a lot. Uh, I did not like what I saw from Chicago. On the other side, I hated what I saw from Denver. They, The Raiders beat the shit out of them all game. But I think you were getting on to something with the week two. They're not in football shape yet. My high is a different place to play than any other place in America in any one of these stadiums. It's a different atmosphere. It's a different air pressure, all this shit like that. So I like you. I like that pick. I'm on it with you. And it's funny you took your Broncos because you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my Giants. Giants plus one and a half at home against the Buffalo Bills. No one circles the wagons like the Buffalo Bills. We know that. Buffalo is coming off an emotional win against the New York Jets. A, seven, a 16 point comeback in the fourth quarter. One seventeen sixteen. Um, here's the reason why I'm taking the pick, because I'm going to be at the Giants game on Sunday. <laughs> You're gonna? Are you? Are you I playing? am going to be here today. <laughs> I'm recording this now. I'm going to be there later. It's 15 minute drive. I will be there. And you know what? Rumors have it. Rumors have it. The Giants brass is going to reach out to me soon. They That's, want me on the field. No, there are. No they want me on the field. No, there are no rumors of that. They you you could not. You were 100, 140 pounds. 151. However, I called you the heart of a champion. Who has the biggest heart of a champion? You, you have a big heart. I have a huge heart. Yeah. You put me on that field, put me, put me in that blue, I guarantee we win that football game. That's exactly what we're going to do today at 1 o'clock Eastern time. All Giants right, well, plus one and a half over the Buffalo Bills. I don't like that pick. I don't really give a f- I'm three and 3-0. I, don't, I just don't like it because the, the Bills, Bills Mafia is coming. Those they have coming. to deal with me listen, first. Listen, I'm, they have to deal with me. I'm, I'm just warning you that Bill's Mafia is coming. That's it. Next pick. It's also a lock. Surprise, surprise. Here we go. Vikings at Packers. We're going with the over. The over at 44. It's simple. Division game. It's going to be some scoring. We're going to have some scoring. Final score prediction. Packers 24. Vikings 21. That is 45. That Over does equal 45. 44. Yeah. That's a winner. That's a lock. It's easy. It's easy. Uh, you it's know what? Easy. You know what? Um, I know you you literally say it's simple before you make every lock pick. 
<laughs> That's your fifth pick you made in two weeks, and every time it's been before, you said it's simple. But you know what? I This is probably my favorite pick of yours because I think Rodgers plays very well against the Vikings. The Vikings have a great defense, but I, I see the Packers going up before, in, the, in, the ha- in the first half, yeah, the and the Vikings are, are actually going to have to start throwing the football. I, I could see that game yeah, being 28-24. Yeah. I'm in on the Packers and the Vikings over. I like it. But the I like Packers it. are winning that game. I, You know what? I agree. I like that score prediction, too. That's it. Here's my second lock. I uh, I rode them last week, and I'm going to ride them again. We were we were a little tilty on uh, on the Colts. They, they, uh, once we hit overtime, we knew the six and a half was covering. Literally, it can't not cover. I gave you that pick. No, you literally didn't give me that pick. I took that pick myself. Don't even try to act like you gave me a winner because you didn't. I took that pick. So what I'm going to do again, I'm going to double down week two. Indianapolis at Tennessee, plus three and a half. The Titans had a mirage of a victory against a, a overrated Browns team. Marcus Mariota is not going to... He didn't even play that well. The offensive line did not look good. Taylor Luan missing. Um, Friend of the show. Yeah, him too. They're, they're missing. That, that is a sneaky, sneaky good Colts team. They almost beat the Chargers. They really did. They came back. They have a well-rounded roster. We learned that Jacoby Brissett can play football. We knew that, but we learned it even more. So what's going to happen is they're going to pound the rock and they're going to beat. They're going to beat Tennessee outright. If they don't, they're not going to lose by more than three and a half. So take the three and a half points. Indianapolis on the road against Tennessee, divisional rival. Down. Oh, one. Boom. No, Titans are going to win that game. Not by more than three and a half. Win that game by like six. You said that about the Saints. They won the game by one. Listen, the Saints should have won that game. By they did by win. nine. They, they, they by did. nine. No, that's not how it works. Listen, we don't want we. That's last week. I'm I'm over that. I'm over that. All right, now it's time for our big dog subscriber lock of the week. Remember, guys, send in every week. Send us your best pick, your lock to bagelslocks at gmail.com. Don't be shy. Bagelslocks at gmail.com. Send us those. Just quick 20 seconds. That's it. Don't be shy. If you don't want to show your face, don't show your face. Just, show, just send, send us your voice. That's it. Yep. It's you real know? simple. And we'll promote you. We'll get you some Twitter followers, whatever you want. Yep. Boom. It's real simple. Boom. And uh, let's hear from our, uh, our big dog subscriber, the one and only Sexy Pats. What up, Snacks and Animal? It's your boy Sexy Pats here with Mark. And our lock of the week is the Buffalo Bills minus one and a half against the New York Giants. Easy win. Giants losing by at least a touchdown. Let's go, Buffalo! Oh, yeah! All right, wow. All right, nice pick. I, I, I would imagine you probably have some thoughts about that. Pick. Yeah, I do. One, Sexy Pats, I know who he is. I know him personally. He's a Canadian. Don't <laughs> trust him. He has no idea what he's doing. He's doing it to piss me off, which he did. But guess what? Nobody can piss me off. Nobody can piss me off but who? But me. But me. I'm the only person that could piss me off. No, because if the Giants piss me off, that means I'm pissing myself off because I am the Giants. One and one make three, okay? Yeah, I forgot. Okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah, you're the Giants. Got it. I am. You guys hear that sound? You hear that sound? I think it's time. I think it's time for the big locks. Let's, uh... Ooh, damn. This thing gets hit. I'm, I'm definitely stronger than I'm definitely stronger than you. If you can, you just, yeah. Oh, oh it's, yeah. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. We're gonna break that table one day. It's oh. gonna happen. Are you okay, bud? I think I might have tore a rotator cuff. Are you gonna be able to make this next pick? Uh-huh. Hopefully, I could play later today. All right. Well, as you can see, it's time for the big locks. I'm gonna start us off because that's what I do. And I'm doubling down on the Saints. Last week, they fucked me. This week, it's all about the Saints. Plus two and a half at the Rams. It's simple. The Saints are going to win outright. They're going to win outright, but we're going to take the points. We're going to the, the, go plus two and a half. We're going to play it safe. Maybe sprinkle sprinkle a little bit on the money line. Sprinkle, sprinkle. A little sprinkle on the sprinkle, money line. Sprinkle. You know, just like one of these little, little, little baby lock. On so the so line, here's, you know? Animal, you're saying bet the mortgage on the points. Bet the, co- the kids' college tuition on the money line. Yes. Yes, that's fine. Fuck the kids, if, you know. Yeah. I worst, I it's, not, it's not going to lose, though. So actually, not even worst case scenario. It's not going to lose. Saints, plus two and a half. Book it. Lock it up. That is a revenge game. And, uh, you know, those revenge games always seem to, to, to work out well. Yeah, so. I wasn't even going to get into the narrative of, you know, the whole thing last year. They know it. Yeah, they, they know, know it. it. They, they know, know it. it. You so, know it. Listen, the Saints can score. Listen. What I'm about to do is 
astronomical. I'm going to guarantee this one. I guarantee them all, but I'm going to guarantee this one even more. I don't think there's one percentage chance that this, this doesn't hit. Not one. So here's what I'm going to take as my big lock. I'm taking the Atlanta Falcons at home, plus two, against the Philadelphia Eagles. Atlanta Falcons, 10-1 and one against the spread in their last 11 home openers. What is this? What is this Sunday? It's Atlanta's home opener. They did not play well against Minnesota last week, but you know what? Philadelphia did not play very well either against the Ross and Tim Redskins. They were terrible in the first half. They, they wound up winning the game, played a great second half, but you know what? They did not look great. The Redskins ate them up in the first half. They even ate them up a little bit in the fourth quarter. The Atlanta Falcons are back in their dome with their home crowd. They need a win. They're coming out firing. They win this game outright. The plus two is just a f***ing, it is a mirage. It is a beautiful gift from God that you get points in this game. So do me a favor, get off your ass, get off your couch, whatever you're doing, stop watching this while you're driving, put the phone down, cancel this out, do everything you can, get to your sports book, go online, bet everything you own on the Atlanta Falcons plus two. You, you, you done? Buddy, when it's a big lock, you need big statements. Yeah, I guess. But I don't, listen. How are you on I earth just, going to fuck? Tell me if just, I'm done. I'm three and zero. I'm trying to make these I people think you money. Had a, You're losing them. I'm winning them. You had such a strong week last week, and I'm just not feeling it this week from you. You said the same thing last week. What was I? Animal. What was I? You were three and zero. I, well, I was what? Three and zero. What? Three and zero. Thank you. So why doubt me? I have to at this point. If I, I it's, it's my only hope right now. As always, everybody. Wait, wait. Before it's over with, we need a big favor from our viewers, our listeners. Please drop a comment down. At the oh, end of at oh. the end of the year, at the end of the year, we're gonna have a record. We're gonna update it daily, or I'm sorry, weekly on the show, right here on Bagels and Locks on our set. Whoever has the worst record has to do a punishment. Now, we're not trying to bury somebody alive. That's not yeah, please, nothing please crazy, don't say please, that. It's I'm nothing crazy. Because he's already behind. 0 3. And he's not gonna beat me. But what we, what we want you to do is figure out what you think the best punishment that you want us to do and drop it down below. Also, drop down your picks and what your best bets are. Get a little interactive, all right? We would love to read them. We'll respond. We're all about it. You're not going to beat me. I know that because I'm about to be 3-0 again. I'm about to be 6-0 in the season. It's really not a big deal. I understand. But just drop it down below. We'd really appreciate it. We appreciate all you watching. We love yous. Yep, exactly what he said. Please like. Please subscribe. Please drop your picks and uh, some comments in the comment section. And... Let's have a great game day. Let's go win some money. Football. Let's go win some money. That's it. <laughs>